Hi, it's Farid Al Aragi, and you're watching Ebanian TV. Farid, welcome to Hibs. Are your thoughts on the move here to Easter Road? Thank you, and uh, really happy to be here first. And uh, yeah, really exciting about the challenge, and uh, and uh, we try to do the way this season and uh, try to bring back this club uh, to to his place, to his real place at the top of uh, of the league in uh, in Scotland. What did the head coach Alan Stubbs say to you that persuaded you that Hibs was the right choice for Farid? at this stage in your career? First, he didn't have to say that much because uh, as soon as I came here, I felt uh, good and I was impressed by the facilities and uh, I've been to the stadium before, played there and uh, I was impressed as well. So I know he's been in since I'm young, so I know it's a massive club. So obviously when I met him, uh, to be fair, I was delighted to, to meet him because he looked young and, uh, and fresh and enthusiastic and want to to, to, to bring something new to, to the club. I think, I think it's going to be a good fresh start for everybody and uh, we're looking forward to Your arrival here was a real coup. And is it true that there were quite a few other clubs that were interested in signing you this summer? Clubs both in Scotland and down in England? Yeah, I uh, had a few, few of us uh, before choosing uh, Ibanian, but at the end, uh, at the end I, I looked at it and uh, Ibanian lo looks a much more exciting challenge and, uh, and in my head was very clear and I wanted to be here. What did uh, Alan Stubbs say to you then about his vision for Hibs? What did he say to you about what he's hoping to achieve here? So hopefully he wants to first to, to play uh, attra attractive football. Uh, first thing he wants to bring back smiles on the face of people. Uh, the players first uh, as a club and obviously the fans because I think they've been really disappointed for the last maybe few years. And uh, so the main thing, bring back smiling, uh, come back to the winning way and, uh, and try to play attracting football as well. Yeah. How excited are you about being back in the Scottish Championship as well? Because you achieved so much success there, didn't you, with Falkirk? You scored a huge amount of goals. Yeah, I had a, a great spell uh, at Falkirk. And uh, yeah, so I know the league, I know how it's going to be. I know it's going to be more tough than maybe it was because now you will have as well uh, Rangers uh, and Hearts. And you have Falkirk as well, uh, who are a really good team. Be with Livingston as well, so it's going to be a very tough league, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. So, whereabouts are you going to keep your lucky coin? Because there's been lots spoken about your your lucky coin that you found in your first game when you played for Falkirk. You've kept it with you ever since. Is it going to be in the dugout at Easter Road? So I don't know yet. I will have to give it to somebody to look after, it and uh, and so I will see. I will uh, I will look a bit for. Uh, for the next two, two or three weeks and, uh, and uh, have to find the, the right person to keep it. It has to be somebody who believes uh, with the kind of uh, superstitious as well. And uh, So yeah, I will take my time to, to find the right person. Good stuff. On the topic of Moroccan strikers, the last Moroccan striker that Hibs had was uh, Benji, who scored twice in the, the League Cup final and obviously became a big hero of the, the crowd. Are you hoping to achieve something similar here at Hibs? Well, uh, if he had a good spell here and it was a, a very successful one, uh, I hope I hope it's going to be the same, even even maybe better. Uh, each player uh, writes his own history, so I'm I'm glad uh, the last Moroccan had a good one here. So I just hope to to follow this this way and have a successful one here.